TikTok's taking on the U.S. government in court today as the Department of Justice fights to have the app banned, calling it a national security threat. But the social media giant says a proposed ban on this app is unconstitutional. ABC's Rena Roy takes us there. The Justice Department and one of the most popular social media apps in the world going head to head in Washington today. The high stakes hearing comes less than five months after President Biden signed a bipartisan bill into law, giving TikTok and its Chinese parent company ByteDance an ultimatum. Sell the app to a non-Chinese owner by January or be banned. TikTok filed a lawsuit. Both sides appearing before a panel of judges at the D.C. Federal Appeals Court to make their cases. The Justice Department calling TikTok a national security threat because the company has access to Americans' personal data and the ability to potentially manipulate content on the app. TikTok has repeatedly said it does not share U.S. user data with the Chinese government and that concerns the government has raised have never been substantiated. The company's lawyers arguing that the law that could ban the app is unconstitutional and violates Americans' right to free speech. There was a little bit of skepticism from the judges because the fact is this was passed by Congress and the judge said why is TikTok questioning this thing that was passed with such bipartisan support by Congress. Despite government concerns, both the Donald Trump and Kamala Harris campaigns using the social media platform to appeal to voters. Hey Kamala, what are we going to say to Donald Trump in November? Bye bye bye. Both campaigns trying to reach a younger demographic. The president is now on TikTok. It's my honor. Both TikTok and the DOJ are asking for a ruling by early December so that the Supreme Court could potentially consider any appeal before January 19th when the ban would take effect. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.